Meg Lok Travel from Tokyo. Hi, I'm Meg from Tokyo. In this video, let me show you my top 10 spots in Osaka. Before we get down to business, let's explore the distinctive characteristics of Osaka. Osaka is renowned as a city of merchants. With numerous rivers and canals running through the city, Osaka has flourished for a long time as a commercial town. I live in Tokyo, but I have the impression that Osaka is better at business than other areas. When it comes to access, Osaka offers a multitude of frequent trains and buses just like Tokyo. If you couldn't catch the last train, please use a taxi. Lastly, from my perspective, I see that people in Osaka are more friendly and talkative compared to those in Tokyo. Okay then, let's go! Number 1. Tsutenkaku Tower The Tsutenkaku Tower is a landmark in Osaka located in a district known as Shinsekai. It's about 103 meters tall, which is around 338 feet. They built it back in 1920, and now it's actually recognized as a national tangible cultural property. It's made of reinforced concrete and has a unique design with a prominent steel tower at the top. At the tower's summit, there's an observation deck with an open ceiling offering you the opportunity to enjoy a panoramic view of Osaka city and the surrounding landscapes. As you continue up the stairs with an additional fee, you will find a special outdoor observatory called Tembo Paradise and the Japan Observatory called Tip Tatsutenkaku, both providing panoramic views of the sky. The tower reaches a height of 94.5 meters, while the view through the window is accelerating. It's the breathtaking beauty from up here that truly stands out. Moreover, there's a slide known as the tower slider, though I didn't get to try it this time. It's said that you can slide down from a height of 22 meters above the ground to the first basement floor in just 10 seconds. Number 2. Shinsekai Located in downtown southern Osaka, Shinsekai sits at the base of Tsutenkaku Tower, which is considered the symbol of Osaka. The main feature of this area are the vibrant signboards and energetic street colors of the restaurant. While in Shinsekai, you have the opportunity to enjoy restaurants, souvenir shops, and games. It all began in 1912 when an amusement park was constructed with Tsutenkaku as its centerpiece. The name Shinsekai includes new culture and technology that didn't exist during the Edo era. This name reflects people's aspirations to create a fresh modern area of interest, blending the essence of Paris and New York. There are numerous amazing stores, so I recommend you to visit Shinsekai along with Tsutenkaku Tower. Number 3. Osaka Castle Osaka Castle is one of the largest castles in Japan, and its majestic presence is sure to leave you overwhelmed. The building boasts a long history and you have the opportunity to view valuable documents dating back over 500 years as well as experience wearing armor. Moreover, from the top of the castle tower, you can enjoy a panoramic view of Osaka city. Although it has a long history, don't you think it has a rather new and clean appearance? Actually, the Osaka castle we see today is the third generation of the castle. The first castle was constructed by Toyotomi Hideyoshi as a foundation for unifying the country. Next, the Tokugawa family came to power and the castle was destroyed once. It was later rebuilt by Tokugawa Hidetada, however, it suffered the second disaster caused by lightning strikes and deterioration of public order. The third time, it was reconstructed with contributions from citizens resulting in the completion of the present-day Osaka Castle in 1931. The only thing to keep in mind when visiting is that it's a bit far from the station, requiring about a 25-minute walk. If walking is too challenging, especially on rainy days or hot summer days, I recommend considering the use of a shuttle bus or a taxi that operates in the area. Number 4. Abeno Harukasu Abeno Harukasu is Japan's tallest building standing at a height of 300 meters. 
However, Azabudai Hills currently under construction in Toraromon, Tokyo, with an expected completion date in November 2023, surpassing the height of Abeno Harukas. Abeno Harukas is a multifunctional complex where you can explore a shopping mall, restaurants, stay at the Marriott Hotel, and experience an observation deck. The first recommendation is the observation deck. You can enjoy the panoramic view of Osaka City from the top floor, which is at the height of 300 meters. Even if you don't go up to the observation deck, I recommend visiting the free garden on the 16th floor. When you're tired of walking, you can take a rest with greenery. The second recommendation is the restaurant Sky Garden 300, where you can enjoy dinner while viewing the night view from the 14th floor. Unfortunately, I couldn't go there this time because it was fully booked several days in advance. If you're interested, you should make a reservation as soon as you decide on your schedule. Number 5. Oishii Mono Yokocho if you're looking for delicious food near Osaka and Umeda stations, this must be the spot for you. A 6-minute walk from JR Osaka station, Oishii Mono Yokocho is a new spot that just opened in November 2019. More than 20 restaurants are gathered on the basement floor of Link's Umeda. That street offers a wide variety of cuisines from Osaka specialties to local dishes from all over Japan. But I felt like eating Osaka local dishes. So, I got the takoyaki at the restaurant named Kureor. Takoyaki is a local Osaka delicacy consisting of a floor duck filled with octopus and condiments baked into a spherical shape about 3 to 5 cm in diameter. Plus, there is a wide variety of octopus-based menus and drink. If you're not yet full after eating takoyaki, it might be interesting to visit other restaurants in Oishimono Yokocho. Number 6. Kuromon Market Kuromon Market is a 580-meter long shopping street located in the center of Osaka City. It comprises by the number of stores that have remained here for a long time and the number of new stores that have entered the market, especially after COVID-19. With more than 170 stores lining the store, it is a very energetic and enjoyable place to visit. However, it's between you and me, I felt that some stores were selling at very high prices, taking advantage of the fact that foreign tourists were unaware of the fair prices from my point of view. My impression was that stores specializing in crab and Kobe beef were especially prominent. This time, I'd like to introduce a few restaurants that from my perspective as a local, offer a good balance of price and taste. First up is Kuromon Sanpei. You can enjoy sushi, grilled fish, sashimi, sea arching, crab, seafood rice bowls, and more, all of which you can purchase from the store and eat in the designated eating area inside. They also offer a wide variety of salted and dried products that make for great souvenirs. This time, we tried an eel dish and a seafood rice bowl. They were really fresh and delicious. Next up is Takahashi Shoten. This is a well-established tofu specialty store that's been around for over 80 years. Here, I tried the tofu pudding. It has a nice moderate level of sweetness. Mm. Lastly, let me tell you about a store called Totto Crown. You can see more melons, watermelons, pineapple juice, and a variety of fruits. This is a spot to consider if you're looking to freshen up after a meal. Number 7. Tenjin Bashisuji Shopping Street Tenjin Bashisuji Shopping Street is actually the longest shopping street in Japan, stretching out 2.6 kilometers long. While the Kuromo Market I mentioned earlier is primarily known among foreigners, this place is a favorite among locals. The length of the market helps spread out the crowds, making it a great option for those who want to enjoy their meal peacefully without the hassle and bustle. On the other hand, if you're looking for vibrancy and energy, Kuromo Ichiba is the place to go. You will also discover Osaka's famous takoyaki along with refreshing juices and desserts. Number 8. Osaka Kurashi no Konjakukan 
this museum offers you the chance to delve into the evolution of Osaka's urban landscapes and housing designs covering the 17th to the 20th century, including the Edo, Meiji, Taisho, and Showa periods. It's on the 8th and 9th floors of Jutaku Joho Center building. You can step back in time to the Edo period of the 1830s and experience the town as it was. Immerse yourself in the daily life of Osaka and the experiences of people during the Edo period through sounds and effects. For an additional fee of 1,000 yen, you can also have the experience of wearing a kimono. Given the heat in summer, this involves wearing a yukata, a type of lightweight kimono commonly worn during summer festivals. In the exhibition room on the 8th floor, you can find displays of materials showcasing the town, housing, and life in Osaka from around 1870 to 1970. The newly established Tsutenkak Tower and Shinsekai along with the Shinsai Machi shopping district adorned with luxury boutiques of the era have been recreated. This museum is located at the northernmost end of the Tenjin Mashisuji shopping street I mentioned earlier, and you can conveniently visit it along with the shopping street. Number 9. Dotonbori Dotonbori is known as the vibrant downtown district of Osaka. It stands at the heart of Osaka's food culture and entertainment scene, and if you enjoy a lively atmosphere, you will going to adore it. The Glico billboard spanning the Dotonbori River is especially renowned and serves as an iconic symbol of Osaka. At night, the nail lights shine so brightly and beautiful that my suggestion would be to visit there rather than during the daytime. The area is brimming with restaurants and nightlife, so if you stay at the hotel in this area, you can have a great time without having to worry about that time. You can also enjoy a river cruise in Dotonbori, which can be booked up to 3 months in advance. You can buy tickets on the day of your visit, but I suggest getting them as soon as you've finalized your plans. Actually, I went to the ticket office in the evening on the day of my visit and unfortunately, the tickets for that day were already sold out. Please be sure to make your booking as early as possible. Number 10. Kushikatsu Daruma Takoyaki and Kushikatsu are the soul foods of Osaka. Kushikatsu involves scouring meat or vegetables, coating them in breadcrumbs, and then deep frying them. There are numerous Kushikatsu restaurants in Osaka, but Kushikatsu Daruma stands out as one of the most renowned and beloved, boasting around 10 establishments across the city. Kushikatsu Daruma is renowned for its extensive selection of ingredients and its affordability, offering delectable freshly fried dishes. Their menu spans from pork, beef, and vegetables to fish, cheese, ice cream, and more. Among these options, I personally highly recommended trying the fried ice cream skewers. Even though it's a unique combination of fried food, ice cream, and mochi, the flavors work together really well. During our visit, we grabbed some kushikatsu at the Daruma branch in Dotonbori, but there are also other branches located in Shinsekai and near Shin Osaka Station. There's also a place called American Village that I haven't included in the top 10 spots this time. It's located in Shinsaibashi, the boutique district, and you might sense a bit of an American atmosphere. Which one do you want to visit the most? Please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click a good button. Thanks for watching and see you at the next video!